Welcome to XAR Template Tutorial Lesson 121 with XAR Web Designer 9 Premium Software. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to embed a Twitter feed into your website. And the reason that I'm making this video is because I had a YouTube request on how to do so. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is go to Twitter.com. I'm already at Twitter.com, so I don't have to go there. But once you get to Twitter.com, go ahead and log in. And after you log in, we're going to click on the icon that's to the right of the search bar in the upper right hand corner of our screen. So let's go ahead and left click on that. And then let's go ahead and go to settings, left click on that. And then on the left hand side of our screen, you're going to see a panel that says account, passwords, mobile, and so on. And you're going to look for the last option that says widgets. Go ahead and left click on that. And then to the right of our screen, you're going to see the panel that says widgets again. And to the right of that, you're going to see a button that says create new. So go ahead and left click that. And once you click on create new widget, it's going to basically take you to the page where you can configure your widget that you're going to embed on your website. And if you didn't know that, or if you're not aware, if you're on the right page, look for the option that says user timeline. So if you have user timeline selected, which should be selected by default, you're under the right tab. If you click on favorites, then you're under the wrong tab. That's not where we want to be. We want to be under user timeline. So make sure that you're under that proper tab. So under that tab, you'll see that it says configuration, and this is where we're going to configure our widget. So the first part is your username. And by default, it should be set to your username. So if you want to display your Twitter feed, leave that the same. The next section you have is options. And basically you have two options here. You can either exclude replies, or you can change auto expand photos to not be enabled. Exclude replies is basically, it's going to exclude any replies that you make directly to someone on Twitter. Auto expand photos is going to automatically expand photos. So very simple, very straightforward. The next section is height and height is basically going to determine the height of your widget It's set in a pixel format and by default is 600 pixels. If you left click in there, you can enter a numeric value such as 500 or, you know, maybe you want to enter 400. You can do that. Whatever numeric value you want to enter, you can enter it in there. It's going to automatically know to set it to pixels. So you don't really need to put the PX there. The next thing that you want to do is take a look at theme and if you click on theme, you'll be able to choose between a light theme and a dark theme. If you choose dark, you're going to see a darker Twitter feed. If you click on it again and go back to light, it'll set it back to a light Twitter feed. And the next section we have here is called link color. And that's basically like it says, it's going to change the link color. If you were to click inside that box and change the link color, it would change it to a different color. But in this case, I'm going to leave that the same. I don't really feel like it needs to be changed. Well, now it's going to change it because I clicked inside. So I'm going to try to get it close back to the color blue. Let's see if it stays somewhere near that same color. Yeah, it's about the same color. So I got that where I want it to be. The next thing that you want to do is click on create widget. And if you click on create widget, it's going to go ahead and generate that code. And by default, it's going to highlight the text in this box here. And this is the text that you want to copy or the code that you want to copy to paste into your website to produce the widget. So I'm going to hit control C to copy it. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back to XAR Web Designer. And all you have to do is hit control V and it's going to paste that widget into your website. And as you can see, I now have the Twitter feed in my website. And you can make adjustments for the width if you want by dragging that cursor on one of the resize handles and you can see that it increases the width. If I want to make it smaller again, I can just push it back in and it will make it shorter in terms of the width. So let's go ahead and preview this in our website and see how it looks. And I mean preview it in our web browser, not in our website. That didn't make a lot of sense. So sometimes I slip up on my words and that was definitely a moment. So I'm going to preview this in Firefox and you'll see that I can scroll through and see all the different uh, Twitter feeds that are in my Twitter feed. And if I click inside this box, actually, it's going to require me to sign in. So if someone wanted to reply to me, you can see that it says at XR template. So they would be replying to me. Um, they would just sign in with their username and password and they would be able to send me a message on Twitter. 
So that's pretty much how you embed a Twitter feed on your website. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a message on YouTube. Don't forget to embed, comment, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for future tutorials. And if you have a tutorial request, please let me know. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you around for the next tutorial. Have a great day.